Hi, welcome back. Um, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create um, news posts. So your news posts are basically your latest news from your blog, which will appear here. So there's two ways you can either go to new if you're on a, if you're on a home page and post, or you go back to your dashboard. And in your dashboard, you go to post, you can view all posts or add new posts. Normally, I tend to view all posts first and then click add new. So, back again in here, you have your title. So, your title goes in, in here, your content area. And then you have your different format. I'm going to go through each different format and show you exactly how it looks. So in here you have your toolbar, similar to Word again. And the categories, basically you can add more categories. Right now we've got news categories. For example, if you want to filter certain news or certain blog news on a page, you can then create your own category. And then it's we will set up the feed that only shows that news category that you've ticked. For now, I'm gonna take news and then set a featured image. So, and then when you're happy with what you've put on there, you click publish. You get an alert saying post published. So then you can then view your post. So this is how your post will look, featured image, title in it, and the content in here. So, so this is a, this is how a standard um, post would, would look like. So if we go back to edit that post and change the format to gallery post, a gallery post. So if you click on gallery, and to add a gallery to a post or page, it's, it's all similar. So for gallery, if we go to add media, and then on the left here, it says, do you want to create a gallery, or you want to create a video playlist, or we want to create a gallery, so if we click on gallery, and then pick the images that we want, so let's put that, one, two, three, four, five, and the bottom right, create new gallery and you want to make sure that it's going to the media file and then you can either have it in three columns so normally just keep it as default side thumbnail and then click insert so now if we update that and then go to view post so this is how gallery page will look like with your featured image and then with the gallery going sliding through and if we want to change that to a linked page we can click on link that does you have an option here to put link so for example if we want to link it to say the BBC we just put the hyperlink in there Now, what happens, you still get your gallery in there, which looks like this. And then your link will be in here. So this icon is your link. And then if you click on that, that will take you to the BBC. So this icon here, it's your link icon. 
So if you want to change that now to a quote, quote in quote. And if you click update. Your quote is in there above the title. And as well, which one have we got? The video. With the video, that's quite cool because it gives you option to have a pick from YouTube or Vimeo. So for example, so let's go to YouTube. So the ID it asks for is just basically the two digits. And then it pays the video in there. And the last one is audio. I haven't got any audio, but it's similar. So if you have any audio on SoundCloud or LinkedIn audio, or you can upload the, the audio through here. If you go to add media, find the audio, upload it into your um, into your server, and then grab the link which you you get when you upload something in here. It gives you the URL. So you grab that. And all you do is paste that in there, and then you're going to play your audio on the website. So these are all the different formats you get when you create a post. So you're more open to do things with it. So it makes it more, more exciting when you create your news. So this is how you create a post. And that's the end of the tutorial.